It's me, Nim Sonny. Welcome back to Project TX. Today's video is a little bit different than, uh, than the usual because I'm not in the same places as before. And I've cleaned up a little bit of the system and removed quite a few of the grab systems as well. I pretty much removed most of the grab system, just a very basic grab right now. And I'm just walking around and uh, testing my new character control system in this little area. So, there's actually three main elements that I want to talk about today, uh, which are all kind of invisible elements, which is the main, main problem when uh, trying to build a video, when trying to make a video. Now you'll notice a lot of things here, uh, just simple uh, physics objects, as you can see when I pick things up, the actual uh, grab system, pretty weak, pretty broken right now. And that's intentional. I kind of removed anything complex from the grab system. Uh, the three things that I'm talking about today is firstly ground control, my ability to walk around, the locomotion system, and controls. Yeah, you can see I'm clicking my triggers right now. The hands don't animate, nothing animates or anything like that. Uh, this is all ragdoll, of course, only a little ragdoll system. The legs are obviously broken. Uh, I have disabled all leg control, leg ragdoll for now, all leg collision, because I've been working on this system here. Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about is the controls. Obviously, the left analog stick moving around, right? And of course, the locomotion activates as soon as you move around as well. Nice and easy, right? But I wanted to do something a little bit different to anything I've probably like done before, uh, where I wanted to remove all movement from the buttons. Uh, so that means everything for movement is now entirely on analog sticks. Why? Because I want to have more context control, contextual control over physics objects. For example, if you're holding an object in your hand, you have two buttons on that hand. I want both of those buttons to be usable for the actual physics objects. Now, what's the point here? The point is that both sides of the hands now, left and right, both have two buttons now. Because uh, you're not using a button for jump, you're not using a button for crouch or anything like that for your fake crouch. Why do I think a fake crouch is still needed? Um, if I was to crouch down right now, I would touch the floor. There's my actual floor, right? Using the fake crouch in the game, I can actually reach below the ground, which is nice and cool. There we go. Try and get the, the, the VR tracking to see it. Uh, the cool thing here is that right analog stick, which does obviously my left and right uh, rotation, it also does my crouch, but this time it's actually a hold. So if I hold the analog stick down, I can control how much of a crouch I want. And uh, there's a certain limit, obviously, this is the lowest you get, right? And going the other way around, pushing the analog stick up gives me a jump. So that's the actual jump button now. Uh, essentially, that allows me to go down and then up using the right analog stick while moving with the left. It's really cool because it means that all movement now is entirely on the analog sticks. I'm just moving the analog sticks entirely to move all around. It's really quite cool. Um, let's look at the next thing, which is locomotion. Locomotion has been improved here. What I wanted to do was take hybrid and start working towards a less um, analog feel. So you can see here, when I sort of move, there is no sort of slowdown this time around. It's nice and solid, but it still has that smooth motion when jogging around. It doesn't go stop, 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 right? That's the major, major issue here. I've always had trouble with that. So locomotion has been improved quite a lot. Now for the major improvement ground control. You can see here the one major thing that I've changed from anything that I that you've seen before is obviously the way ground control works in this project. Normally when you do ground control for an object, right, when you want them to stand on the floor or anything like that, you usually use a capsule collider. The problem with the capsule collider of course is that it hits on short steps like this, it hits the ground. So you can't smoothly climb over like that. This leads to a bit of a problem. Because you're running a function to actually keep your body off the ground, you get this looseness to the ground hold, where while you're swinging your hands up and down, you can usually see the body sort of push up and down on the ground. 
This happens especially most obviously when you're holding something heavy, right, like this. So if I'm holding something heavy, you can see, even then, barely even moves my body up and down. In fact, I can't tell it's moving me up and down at all. It isn't. Here, when you hit on something like the floor, you can see it doesn't move my, my body up and down. Until, of course, I push on it with enough pressure, at which point I actually clamber over. And you can see that really aids in climbing over something like that. It really feels quite solid and quite smooth. Whoop. Let's uh, grab one of these, clamber over here, and whee! Oh, oh, don't fall down. Whee! And of course, I've handled friction a little bit better now as well. Now let's go look at the ragdoll system. So the ragdoll system has massively improved thanks to the way I'm handling ground now. Which is, things like this, things like this little gap here, uh, are now actually usable. So you can see I've got full body collision right across the top, you can see my elbow as well, right across from the head down to the ground. But something as small as this tiny little gap, I can still clamber right into it, even though my body is colliding with everything including the ground because this is a full ragdoll. So I do clamber, I do actually collide with everything including the ground. So just crouching is a little bit of a problem usually, but no longer a case, no longer the case here. The coolest part of this is, I don't just have to be standing on like something like a little gap on the ground. I can actually clamber into a gap like this. You can see there, right? And not even that, I can actually clamber into a gap right from something where I'm not even standing on the ground. So here you can see completely off the top and there we go, just clamber right in. Really, really cool. Whee! It really makes parkour and everything feel a little bit more solid. And the locomotion has been improved massively to actually account for this as well. Where it used to be that if I clambered over something like this, and held the analog stick forward, I would just shoot off because the run system activates. This has been changed massively now. It actually knows when you've gone from a crouch. <laughs> you can run on physics objects like that. When you've gone from a crouch to something a little bit higher. Um, the other cool thing is how you're able to, things, uh, to push around on the ground. So for example, I'm standing on a physics object and I can use the wall to push myself along, very much like human fall flat style. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the ground control. It's really cool. You can hop over things like this, nice and easy, or you can always just go right underneath them. Super duper duper. Anyways, that's about that. I don't want to keep going on about these uh, random things that you can't really see very much. It's all about the feeling that you can get when you actually play it. So I'm gonna try and get a demo of this as soon as possible. Now it's going to take a little while to actually get something that's demoable, but uh, you know how it is. It'll eventually come. Whoop. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I think that ends this video pretty much. There's nothing more to say other than I really hope I fix these blooming grubs soon. <laughs> um, thanks very much for watching. I know it's been a bit of a random video, a bit of a, a weird one where you can't really see the visual improvements, the actual improvements that are going on behind the scenes, but uh, you know how it is. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.